this takes a lot of courage. Oh, this is so hard. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of the Be Different series. This is hard to be honest because if I share this, I'm making myself vulnerable. The purpose is to inspire and to let you know that you are not alone. I never really share about this publicly because you know how it is when someone has a condition or is sick. You know how the society put a stigma on you. And I was trying to avoid that, but also I didn't think it was necessary for me to publicly share that story in particular. I have been diagnosed with Graves' disease. I was diagnosed since 2010, and I also have mitral valve prolapse. Graves' disease is an immune system disorder. It's when the thyroid is making more thyroid hormone than your body needs. It's called Graves, by the way, because of the man who discovered it in the um, 19th century. His name is Sir Robert Graves, so it isn't literally six feet under. The thyroid gland makes hormones that help our body regulate some of the functions in our body. This includes heart rate, sleep, mental health. These were the symptoms that initially showed when I was diagnosed with the disease. First, enlarged thyroid that's goiter. So this part of my neck, there was like a slight bulge here back then. Second, palpitations or rapid beating of the heart. Third, difficulty breathing. Fourth, anxiety, irritability, and mood swings. Fifth, difficulty sleeping. Sixth, fatigue. Seventh, chest pain. How it is treated, there are three. First is radioactive iodine therapy. Second, medications. Third, surgery. Mitral valve prolapse, on the other hand, is a common cause of a murmur due to a leaky heart valve. Mitral valve prolapse is not life-threatening, just so you know. Both hyperthyroidism or Graves' disease and mitral valve prolapse are not viral. So in mitral valve prolapse, the leaflets of the mitral valve bulge or prolapse into the left atrium, like a parachute during the heart's contraction. Are we still there? So scientific. 2020, 2019, going backwards, it's 2010. I've kept it all these years. <laughs> my mom noticed when she went inside my room while I was asleep, my eyes were half closed or half open. That was another thing. It wasn't normal for me. And second, I was having difficulty breathing while sleeping. So I was like, <gasps> literally like that so my mom was alarmed i was alarmed i wasn't aware that i was sleeping like that i also noticed that the palpitations were frequent i had very shaky hands and i would sweat even in an air-conditioned room so that to me were also alarming i had myself checked i had a few tests and that's when the doctor confirmed my diagnosis after the doctor's visit, we just sat in the car and after a few seconds, I broke down. I cried so hard. It was so hard for me to accept my condition. I had so many questions. Will I still be able to do what I want to do? Will it be a hindrance to doing what I want to do? Or will it be a hindrance to reaching my dreams and goals? Will I be loved less? So many questions. It was depressing because I had also let it control my life. When opportunity arrives, I would then, I should not do it or I cannot do it because I have this condition. I'm basically putting these limits to myself. The doctor advised that I should not be stressed. Just because the doctor said I cannot be stressed, it doesn't mean that I 
should not explore and live my life because you see it's just a matter of how you react and manage stress because stress is everywhere guys the first few years since i was diagnosed were really tough because aside from the denial i was blamed to think i have no control it's not my fault but some made me feel that it is my fault i felt invalidated that's one of the reasons why i am building the courage to speak up about this part of me because it's not easy to fight battles alone if you also have a condition don't let it control your life you are so much more than your condition one day i realized this ain't good want to continue living my life the way I want to live my life without putting limitations just because I have a condition. And after that, I have bravely lived my life and continue to dream anyway. Ooh, this is so hard. I am so passionate about being brave, loving myself, and dreaming anyway because life is so precious. I hope you treasure the life that you have and take care of your body, your health, mentally, physically, emotionally. Be brave to go beyond, beyond what the society stigma that has been put on you. You know that you are more than your condition. Be brave, continue to be different. That's how I have lived my life since then, eventually. You are not alone and remember that you are loved even if you have a condition you still matter despite your condition you are worth it i don't want you to pity me but i want you to take inspiration based on my experience this takes a lot of courage i hope it served its purpose <laughs> thank you so much for your time for lending your ears and your heart to listen to my story i'll leave you with a reminder as always be brave be different Thank you.